I was just looking out the window and I wondered, looking at a traffic light, why does red mean stop and green mean go? So I looked it up. Basically, the first traffic lights were in 1868 in Bridge Street in London, which is where I live, and they used red and green gas lamps. Interesting thing about that is in the first gas lamp on Bridge Street, there was a leak and the guy using it unfortunately died in an explosion. So traffic lights didn't get off to a good start. Those gas lamps borrowed from red and green flags used for the trains in 1841. Although originally they used white for go, but this didn't work out with traffic lights because there'd be confusion if it was just not showing or if it was meaning go. So they changed it to green. But you're still probably wondering, what's the original reason for red and green anyway? Well, I've done some more research and this is what I reckon. Red light is scattered least by air molecules, so you can see it from further. The reason is because red has the longest wavelength, which means that it's scattered a bit less by the air, air molecules you see around you, whereas blue would be scattered way more. Red has also been associated with danger since the earliest times, probably since caveman times, because it's been linked to, for example, blood and something being red hot and dangerous to touch. So it makes sense the red would mean danger, which would mean stop. Green contrasts the most sharply with red, so that also makes sense for go.